As you know, I'm kind of the genius, and in the previous tutorial, I promise I'm going to solve this uh, linear programming problem for you uh, step by step using Python. So let me just start immediately. So at this point, I'm going to create a new Python notebook, and I normally like to uh, paste the steps right here. So I'm going to set it to Markdown, and then I'm going to run it so it becomes a Markdown cell. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is to import the solver from pywrap LP. So there is a wrapper to use a linear programming uh, module coming from C++. So from our tools dot linear solver uh, import pywrap LPs and then you're gonna say solver equals py wrap lp dot solver dot create solver and then you're gonna use Google linear optimizer GLOP and I think this should be fine so I'm gonna just run it if I can remember run okay so it says uh, so I'm gonna take out this Ah, so don't making this typos everywhere. All right, so shift. Um, okay, so here we go. And the next step is to uh, create our variables, the X and Y variables. Let me just increase the font a little bit here. All right. So this problem we have x1 and x2 but it's better i can just replace it with x and y so if we have let me create our variables x and y i'm going to say x is equal in this case x is uh, x1 while uh, y is x2 so x is equal to solver dot solver dot num var going from zero to now we don't know the upper limit of, of, of x and y because it's not given the it's not specified here. Okay, yeah, it, the lower limit is zero because it says it's greater than or equal to zero, but the upper limit is not zero, it's not known. So the upper limit we can set it to infinity. So I'm gonna say solver dot infinity and the name of the variable is x, and I'm gonna do the same thing for y. So let me just copy and paste in case of y so i'm going to just change this in the same way we have the lower limit to be zero but we don't know the upper limit so we just set it to infinity and the same thing here i'm going to say y i'm also going to use lowercase for everything i'm going to run this cell and it's fine now step three is to create the constraint so now this is not the constraint actually this is not the constraint so permit me to if i kind of did this cell but i okay but for sure this is not the constraint so let me set it to code maybe I, i'll be able to edit so there is not a constraint and this is not a function i think the function should be x1 plus x2 which is x plus y so in case of the constraint we have a number of constraints and that's what we are going to be creating now. But this time, to create the constraint, we are going to be using... Um, give me one second. Let me just display... Okay, I think we are okay. So to, to create the constraint, I'm going to use solver.add and specify the constraint. So the first constraint, let's see. The first constraint says x plus 2y is less than 4 x plus 2y is less than 4. I'm going to say x plus 2y is less than or equal to 4. So this is how to specify the constraint. So I'm going to add another constraint, solver.add. In this case, the second constraint is 4x plus 2y is less than 12. So it's going to be, it's going to be 4x plus 2y is less than or equal to 12 and the last constraint solver dot add I think this is this is going to be uppercase the last constraint which is a tight constraint say minus x plus y 
is less than or equal to 1. We have minus x plus y is less than or equal to 1. So this is going to be add in uppercase and the same goes here. So let me run this cells and let's hopefully everything is fine. Okay. So permit me to just print out the number of constraints. So I'm going to say print, print, I'm going to say constraints, constraints are uh, equal to, so just display solver dot num constraint, solver dot num constraint, num constraints. I think I got the constraints dot norm constraints so let me just start from here run 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 okay so solver the uh solver dot norm constraints so it says there is an error here so we have solver dot norm constraint let's see where this problem is coming from okay i need a comma here so let's just go once again so it's all right, solver object has no attributes, num const constraints. All right, so there is just a typo. So it's, it's not six constraint, it should be just three constraints as you can see here. So we have only three constraints here. This constraint, this is, this is called non-negativity constraint, meaning zero or more. So you don't, it's implicitly defined uh, when you define the variables here. All right, so we've defined our constraint and now we are going to define the objective function x plus y. So to do that, you simply use solver.maximize. So in this case, it's a maximization problem and the objective function is x plus y. x plus y, I think that should be it. So I'm going to run this as well. Okay, perfect. So at this point, we want to print out the solution. So I'm going to just print. I'm going to say, let me first print out the, the value of the objective function. So I'm going to say objective value are equal to and solver.objective.value, value uppercase. All right, so this is the value using the um, the solution to the problem, the solution that maximizes the objective function. And I'm going to print the values that provide the maximum value so of the objective function. So the value for x should be equal to x dot solution value. And I'll do the same for y. And let's see what we have. So the same way, this is going to be y, y dot solution value. So I'm going to run this cell. <laughs> this is very funny. So it tells us that the the values that maximize um, the objective objective function is zero. So meaning that there is no optimal solution for this particular problem. Uh, but this actually is the procedure for solving maximization problem in Python. Uh, using solver. I would like to stop here. I'm going to do more problems, more difficult problems. I would like to thank you for being there and also subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you have any problem. I remain kind to the genius and I'm always there for you.